Who is Jacoba and Tayu? Has anyone ever seen them? Exposed. The Bible says, I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. Yahshua's image was not kept in a booth, in the dark, in the back, behind avatar gear, but was beheld, looked upon as the only begotten of the Father. Yahshua boldly walked, ate, sat, taught, cried, healed among the people. The people touched, pressed in to see him. They beheld his face and not avatar gear. People, do you really know the twins? Yakoba and Tayu. Have you ever actually seen them? Yakoba and Tayu have been on YouTube since 2016. Almost eight years. And these two men have yet to show their faces on YouTube. They call you family, but family don't have a clue as to what the twins look like. People, you don't know if these twins are black or white, short or tall, fat or skinny. You don't know if they have a full head of hair or if they are bald headed. If someone kidnapped the twins, you could not even put out a missing persons report on them because you do not have any idea as to what they look like or their actual names. The twins can move right next door to you, but you would not know that they are your YouTube teachers of end time prophecies. The ones who you happily send your money to on a regular. The twins can walk right by you, get into a fight in front of you, and you would not know your end time prophecy twin teachers. People, you cannot even get a driver's license without showing your face. And you certainly cannot run for president without showing your face. You cannot even open up a savings and checking account without showing your face ID. And you cannot get a government passport without showing your face. You could not even pick the twins out in a lineup if needed because you have never seen their faces. They refuse to show you their faces. People, would you trust someone to babysit your kids whom you have never laid eyes on? Of course not. So why are you trusting in two Negroes shrouded in avatar gear, refusing 
to show you their faces. People, you have not laid eyes on the twins because they do not want you to see their faces. With any other genre or situation in the world, this avatar behavior would not fly with you. So why are you giving Yakoba and Teyu a pass? How are you so trusting of two Negroes making heaven and hell decisions with your life? Negroes that refuse to show you their faces. People, even the world requires a picture ID. The Bible says, to know them that labor among you. The original Greek meaning for the word know is to see, to behold, to look, to perceive. Has anyone seen, behold, looked into the eyes of Yakoba and Teyu even once. Yakoba and Teyu are able to get tens of thousands for years from their subscribers without even showing their faces. I'll bet Yakoba and Teyu will be showing their faces and giving their real names for that passport. Yakoba and Teyu have more respect for the Department of State than they do the family. People, Apostle Paul withstood Apostle Peter to the face when Peter was out of order. This would not have been possible if Peter was in Avatar gear. People, there is no apostle, no teacher, no prophet, no judge, including Yahshua himself, that did not show their face to the people. The people saw and beheld these men of the Most High with their own eyes. The people handled them. The people conversed with them. The people saw their faces. Why do black people of the Most High lose their common sense, brains go right out the door when they embark upon Jim Jones and Yakoba type people. People, now I am going to share with you the assignment that Yakoba got from the powers that be, the assignment designed to send you straight to hell. The assignment is Jacobo's false doctrine on forgiveness. Satan knows if he can get you to believe it, if he can get you to drink it, the Kool-Aid, you're hell bound. There is nothing new under the sun. White supremacists Francis Parker Yaki committed suicide by drinking cyanide while in jail. And preacher Jim Jones killed over 900 people by getting them to drink Kool-Aid lace with cyanide. And now we have Jacoba passing on this same damnable Kool-Aid drink to his listeners coming from a white supremacist. 
his sugar-free false doctrine on forgiveness. Just because a person speaks 90% truth, don't forget about the 10% lies. Yahshua has said, a little leaven, leaven the whole lump. Jacoba got his doctrine on forgiveness from a white supremacist, a prophet to the KKK, a pagan, a porn writer. Jacoba then turned around and fed this dream to the family. Jacoba, the Most High is calling you to repent. Fleecing the flock while passing out your Kool-Aid to the family. Jacoba says, any time if all you have to do is, if your ministry is all about attack, 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 and attack, expose, 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 Jacoba says, and you ain't got no teaching and nothing minister to people's knowledge minister to people's truth minister to people the idea that they need to repent Jacoba he says if all you got to do expose 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 and expose Sounds like the accuser of the brethren to me. Here is the video. Anytime, if all you have to do, if your ministry is all about attack, 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 expose, 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 and you ain't got no teachings and nothing to minister to people knowledge, to minister to people truth, to minister to people the idea that they need to repent. If all you got to do is expose, 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 and expose. Sound like the accuser of the brethren to me. People, Yakova is talking about me. He does not mention my name because he does not want to be exposed. He does not want his followers to see my videos on his false doctrine on forgiveness. Jacoba's doctrine on forgiveness is a trap, a gin of the enemy designed to send you straight to hell. Jacoba it is not my calling to give teachings of end time prophecies. I am not called to teach, but I do know my word good enough to when I come across a snake to expose him. Jacoba, the Bible says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. The original Greek meaning for the word reprove is to rebuke, tell one's fault, convict, expose. Jacoba, so when you see me expose, 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 just know that I am about my father's business. Capiche? Jacoba, Apostle Paul said, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words 
of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Yakoba, I'm not a end time prophecy buff, such as yourself, but I live to be led of the Holy Spirit, experiencing his power being demonstrated in my life. This is my God ordained lane. If an individual do not get revelation knowledge on my channel, they are simply not listening like you. Yakoba, I have the gift of discerning of spirits. I also have the gift to see subliminal images very quickly and clearly. So Yakoba, when I see into the spirit realm, it is my job to expose. This does not make me a, an accuser of the brethren, as you stated. And so I expose you, Yakoba, for feeding your so-called family grape Kool-Aid false doctrine on forgiveness. I expose you, Yakoba, for not repenting and sharing your folly with your so-called family. I expose you, Yakoba, for having a YouTube channel filled with the demonic the Dry Bones Project image is demonic to the core. I expose you, Yakoba, for being a Freemason. You and your twin brother, Tayu, and your grandmother. I expose you, Yakoba for being a big liar. You said that I lied on you. And as God, as my witness, I did not lie on you. It was you that lied on me. I expose you, Yakoba, for serving the word of God, lace, with false doctrine. This you do to entrap the family whom you say you love. I expose you, Yakoba, for sharing teachings from a white supremacist, a prophet to the KKK, while fleecing the flock. Yakoba got his demonic marching orders and he is standing by them. After Yakoba's false doctrine on forgiveness, Yakoba received many comments from his followers on his videos. The following comment was made by one of Yakoba's subscribers. This is just one of many people who drank Jacoba's Kool-Aid, his false doctrine on forgiveness. The subscriber said, I will always forgive my brothers in Judah and Israel. If a Gentile comes to me asking for forgiveness with no repentant heart, and no works to prove it, they, the Gentiles, can kick rocks and get out of my face. Dear subscriber, as far as Jacoba is concerned, mission accomplished. You have drank the Kool-Aid. 
Jacob's family is drunk on his Kool-Aid, his false doctrine on forgiveness. It is being devoured by his foolish family. The Bible says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. The original Hebrew meaning for the word sotich is silly, fool, foolish, sotich. This individual and others like him are on their way to hell if they do not receive the word of the Most High on forgiveness. People, the original Greek meaning for the word if also means whether. So the text can now be read whether they repent, forgive them. I share this information with Jacoba and God crickets. People, Jacoba does not get paid telling you the truth. He gets paid when he lies to you. Once again, I am not going to repeat myself on the topic of forgiveness. Please view my channel for all videos concerning this topic. It is in there. And Yakoba, it is not important that I get thousands of views. That is not my aim. I end all videos by saying to the people, they are free to listen in, in hopes to save some from hell's fire. But the message is for the one that I am making the video on. So with that being said, Jacoba, if only two people view my video and one of them is you, Mission accomplished. Jacobus Kool-Aid, his false doctrine on forgiveness, is designed to take you out and send you straight to hell. Jacoba and Tehu are enemies of the cross. Judgment is coming for you both if repentance is not met. People, the only reason Jacoba and Tayu are able to do what they do is because you guys are not reading your word. And they are counting on that. You know the old saying, if you want to hide something from a black person, put it in a book. The Bible says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Jacoba and Tayu are demonic avatar twins that forever hide their faces. They are leading many people to hell with their false doctrine on forgiveness. Jacoba and Tayu are exposed. All right, folks, consider yourself warned. 
I know that the end of the world ministry is popular and well loved by many, but I also know that their doctrine on forgiveness is demonic. Okay, I'm done. This message is for the end of the world ministry. The Most High is calling you to repent. People, you are free to listen in, in hopes to save some from hell's fires. But the message is for the end of the world ministry. I don't have to convince the twins of their demonic low down dirty acts on the body of Christ. All right, take heed. Let no man deceive you. Yahshua loves you. Be blessed.